Hello friends. Uh, earlier we had made a login app, uh, register application in which the user have to register uh, username and password, and the password is stored in hash format in SQL Server. Now we are going to make the login application. So we have to take a new Windows application form. Right click, add new item. This form and add it. We have to take two levels level one as username, level two as password, and two text boxes. And one login button. And this is the login button. The, con the concept behind is that uh, the user has to enter its username and then password. And after when uh, the user click login, the here the password hash is generated in the front end and the hash is coming from the back end server and both are have to match if they got matched then the user will successfully log in otherwise and the user has failed in login so then let's start coding and we can copy and paste from the earlier code which is this to create the hash we have written this code earlier simply copy and paste it on the click button and we have to include uh, using system.security cryptography and system.data Data dot system dot data dot SQL line because we are going to use from SQL server. So we use this and the power password is coming from Xbox 2. So rename here this Xbox 2 and we have to create a SQL connection. Can be also from copy from the page two. You can copy it, copy it here from here. We have to change our command because we are going to We are going to use parameterized query and now we have to supply these parameters so parameters and they are reading 
and now it is going to be coming from textbooks from the text. On the other hand, We have to check if it has data or not, so we are not read. The index position it is zero here, and we have to change it in the screen display. <laughs> now we have to compare both the password as. Hash the newly created hash from the form and from the text too, where the user enter his password in the hash b is the hash created the created the time when the user registered herself or himself on the first time and this is coming from the database. So when they are matched, we have to display the message message box show. And we are going to the try and catch exception box.
So now we have to check by entering username and password. Username is Amma. We have to check password. Amma. Let's check if you login or not. Successful login. Uh, but let's check by entering some random data. Which is obviously an invalid operation. You can see here is the username Amla and his password has format. And thank you for watching video. Subscribe my channel on YouTube and like us on Facebook.com. Thank you for watching the video.